Hey, it's your girl Christy from Honey Love Designs. You all will be new to my channel because this is my very first video that I am posting. If you're ready to tie this video, then yes, you know that I am getting a breast reduction. It is actually two weeks away on April 2nd. Today is Monday, March 18th, so technically 15 days away, however you want to look at it. Um, I just want to hop on here real quick because I see a lot of people, they record these videos like after they've already had the breast reduction, like a year, six months, you know, like it's just ridiculous. It's crazy to me. Um, so real quick, I just wanted to give a rundown of, you know, my journey with getting my boobs done. Um, just a little backstory, my why. Um, I've always had big boobs. I started getting boobs when I was seven years old. By the time I was in sixth grade, I was a um, D cup. By the time I hit freshman year, I was already in a triple D. Um, triple D slash E, which was just terrible. <laughs> um, so I've dealt with the pain like literally all my life. Um, I was going to get a breast reduction when I was 16, but my pediatrician wanted me to lose weight. I lost 50 pounds and my breast still didn't go anywhere, but he just, I think I went down a cup, not a cup size. I went down a band size. I went from a 36 to a 34, still triple D. <clears throat> um, so, but he just, he didn't want to approve it. So, you know, I was just like, you know, whatever. Um, I started going to therapy for it, all that good stuff. Uh, it helped a little bit, but mm, not that much. So I kind of just let it fall by the wayside um but now as an adult i've had four children and over the last two two and a half years i started getting sores underneath my breast which was just like horrible <laughs> um they are like open sores due to the skin is because my skin is so thin underneath my bosom um because of like the heaviness of them i am now a 38h which is just absolutely terrible i hate it it sucks it's just ugh, i'm ready to get rid of them um as well as like even with this shirt you can see the dents of my bra like i get sores up here because of my bras digging into my skin like the back pain the shoulder pain just pain all in general me not being able to wear the things that i want to wear I'm just over it <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i actually started saving up for my breast reduction last year in 2023 uh it was actually summer 2023 when i decided i was like you know what i want to get my boobs done so this is what we're gonna do um i was watching a fellow budget because i do have a budgeting channel which is honey love budgets and um a young lady in the community budget with bay so her name is bay <laughs> Um, I saw on her channel where she had been saving and things like that. So it was actually something that we, something else we had in common. Um, but then I heard her say that her insurance had approved her. I was like, oh wait, insurance pays for it? Let me look into this. So I went to a doctor's appointment that I had scheduled in September of 2023. Started speaking with my PCP, whom also is my boss. <laughs> so yes, I do work for my doctor. Um, and I was talking to her about it and everything like that. And she said, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. So she documented everything. And it's crazy because at the time I had literally just had two sores under my right breast and one underneath my left. And I actually had another one that was starting to form underneath my left. So she took pictures of them. She measured them, recorded all that. She gave me a list of um, providers that they recommend. I called them. None of them took insurance. They were all private pay. But I should have known that because the area that I work in is very bougie, high scale. I'm not gonna say bougie. That's no. It's very high end, high scale, rich people, and um, yeah, no. <laughs> so the next step was to go to my insurance. I went through my. I went to my insurance. I called them. Say, hey, do you all cover breast reductions? That was my first step. They said yes, and um, she actually sent me um, a pamphlet or like a a, a benefits breakdown uh just that you know the criteria for uh, my insurance to cover i was like okay cool perfect she also walked me through um how to find a surgeon um through my insurance you know who i can go to so after her walking me through that i wound up writing down uh 15 different surgeons um that i went off the you know the the point mark, you have to have a 4.9 or 5.0 for, you know, the stars and things like that. After it took me all the, cause it was just, this like the third, this as a matter of fact, it was two days before Labor It was, wait, this is right after Labor Day, the Monday after Labor Day or 
no, the week of Labor Day. I wanted to uh, have my appointment with her. I spoke to my insurance and stuff like that the second week of September. So once I wrote down those 15 surgeries, I wanted to do my research. I narrowed it down to three. Out of the three, none of them had consultations until the earliest was February of this year, 2024. I said, okay, you know what? I waited this long, why not? Whatever. So my actual surgeon, I ended up, I was told everyone, I was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do a little bit more research, see if I can find somebody sooner. But then I was like, you know what? No, you narrowed them down to these people for a reason. And then I, out of the three, I narrowed it down to one person, um, just because after watch, seeing her videos and pictures and things like that, she has, she's the person that has the most experience in females of my body size, which I am a BBW. Um, so I'm a plus size woman. <laughs> so, you know, that was that. Um, so I called her office back and it's so crazy that um, she actually had a cancel. And this was in, matter of fact, this was on October 21st because my birthday was the 23rd. So October 21st, that Friday, I wound up, um, was it the 21st? Yes, because my birthday was on that Sunday. So, yeah, October 21st, that Friday, I wound up calling her. I was like, hey, um, well, I called her office. I was like, I'm, I'll take the consultation for next year, you know, whenever you all have it. She's like, actually, I just literally had a, a cancellation for November 30th at 3 p.m. I was like, that's nobody but God. Go ahead, put me in that slot. <laughs> um, so, mind you, this is in Miami, deep Miami, downtown Miami. Um, I say about 35, 45 minutes away, just depending on traffic. Um, it can actually be an hour. So around that time, I knew I had to leave my house like no later than 1.30 just because I really didn't know where I was going, um, but I knew it was a ways away. So luckily I did because I did run into traffic. It took me about an hour, 15 minutes just to get there and I had to find out where to park and all this stuff, but I literally made it there at 3 p.m., like in the office. Um, so my surgeon, she came in, she evaluated me. She actually had, a, she had two students with her and she had her scribe. Um, she did her measurements. She saw the sores, took pictures and all this stuff or whatever, um, and things like that. And everything went good. Like everything was great. She was like, okay, do you have any appointments? Well, like any pictures, you have any complaints? Like any, I was like, yes. I said, I actually have three visits. So I downloaded those. Luckily I'm a medical records manager, so I have access to my chart. <laughs> so I went in, downloaded those, um, appointments, encounters, along with the pictures and everything, uploaded it to my portal. This was that Thursday on November 30th. December 1st, the referral coordinator, Destiny, she wanted to reach out to me. She said, I have all the documentation, everything, blah, blah, blah. I'm submitting everything to your insurance today for approval. Okay, cool, bet. That following Wednesday, I wound up getting a call from my insurance letting me know that I was approved. I was like, oh my gosh, I was so quick because she told me to take six to eight weeks. So I was like, you know, I was just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have surgery you know, later on this year. No, they literally approved me and my surgeon was like, well, the referral credit, she was like, this is one of the quickest approvals that we've ever seen, especially with your insurance. I have Aetna. And she was like, Aetna has been so tough and so hard to, you know, get people approved. She was like, so the simple fact that it went through, they approved it in so quickly, you know, it was just crazy. And the, the criteria that I actually fell under was with my BMI, they had to be removing at least 900, um, I believe it's CCs from each breast. Or is it CCs? Kilograms? Whatever it is, they had to be removing at least 900. My surgeon's actually removing 1,200 from each breast. So I think that wound up being about six pounds um, that they're gonna be removing from my boobs because I really wanna go down to a C cup. I don't wanna be a double anything, two G, and I don't wanna be a D. I don't wanna be none of that. Give me a C cup. I'll take a B at this point. But my body, you know, real curvy, thick thighs, but all that stuff. So I'll take a B cup. Mm, nah, I'll take a C. So, <laughs> so that was that. Um, and she was like, well, our next available surgery date is going to be April 2nd. I said, okay, cool. April 2nd of 2024. I said, okay, that's fine because it'll give me time to save up money. That gives me time to do my schoolwork, get caught up, get everything situa situated with my children, get it set up to where my mom can come down here for a couple weeks. Like, it was perfect timing for me. So, that all in a nutshell is, you know, how I went about doing my breast reduction, finding my surgeon. Um, using my insurance and I'm so happy that my insurance like I didn't have to lose weight I didn't have to be a certain BMI like and it didn't require any of that so I I'm happy with what I pay you know I, I pay that 276 a month <laughs> you know what I'm saying because all I have to pay is two I have to pay a 245 $245 to the um, hospital for my copay that's it and everything else is covered um, 
so yeah that was that was basically my process of um going about getting a breast reduction done through my insurance so yeah um so I'm gonna wrap up this video because I do have another video that's gonna come out where I'm gonna do a haul of everything that I've got. Um, if y'all have any questions or anything that you wanna ask me that you want me to answer in my next video, go ahead, drop those down below. Um, if you reached the end of this video, go ahead, drop me an emoji. It doesn't even matter. You can drop me a heart. You can drop me a smiley face. Like, whatever. Just let your girl know that you made it to the end of this video. I will be doing um, giveaways, like a gift card, Starbucks, like different things. I am gonna be doing a lot on this channel. Like I said, I do have a budget in the channel, honey, little budgets, but on this channel, it's going to be more vlogging, personable, and things like that. And so, yeah. So, I will catch you on my next video. Bye! <laughs>